hi guys and welcome to the show and today we are reviewing the Squale 300 meter GMT Ceramica or Ceramic Swiss Automatic uh, Dive Watch from Squale and the reference number is 1545CG-CER Before we get into you know my, my own personal opinions of this watch I just want to point out that it comes on this uh, solid steel uh, this steel bracelet here I've just I've switched it over to the my favorite NATO strap let's get into the specs and then we'll go over my personal opinions in afterwards so we have a Swiss made ETA movement inside this is the uh, 2893-2 with a 40 hour power reserve and this I believe is the first GMT that Squiler have done in their 50 years of watchmaking history. We have a 120 cl click bezel which is absolutely fantastic. So this is based on a mid 60s design. It has a flat sapphire crystal with a cyclops, a uh, 2.5 magnifier cyclops at the three o'clock position. Of course, we have the ceramic bezel um, insert here. Now, this is this is quite a, a really well-made ceramic bezel. It's um, they've they've actually engraved and then painted the the the, the numbers in. So you know the, the the way they've gone about it. It's not just one flat piece. It's it's actually quite. I mean, the attention to detail and the, the manufacturing process. They have to heat it to a very specific amount and, and then they apply the paint and blah blah blah. It's quite a complicated process but no expense has been spared and if we just, let me put my glove behind it so the zoom, there we go. If we look at it, if we look at it side on you can, maybe you could just about see, if you run your finger on it you can feel the numbers. It, it is in grade. It's a bit difficult to see but it's beautifully done, absolutely stunning I mean this ceramic bezel is easily up there with the big boys you know I mean um, uh, to be honest I, I, I think the quality of this bezel is as good as, as the bezel on my ceramic Seamaster uh, and probably you know I, I wouldn't say as good as on my ceramic sub because I, I am aware that they you know they put plat there's platinum deposits in the little indices and blah 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 and all, rest, all the rest of it so theirs is a little bit more, um, even more of an intricate process in their manufacturing process. But th this, I've got to say, is, is really impressive, especially at this price point. So virtually indestruct indestructible. I mean, it's, it's scratch resistant. That's the whole point of the, uh, the ceramic. And, you know, it's, it's going to look minty, minty fresh and, 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 and brand new for many, many years to come. So really it's fantastic it's a fantastic uh, bezel it really is a bigger case than the standard 1545 so we have a thickness of 13 millimeters diameter of 42 millimeters lug width of 20 and then from lug to lug we're looking at about 49 millimeters lug to lug so it is a, it is a bigger case than the standard 1545 and this is for very good reason they it's it's for increased uh, water resistance we have these really lovely curved lugs here which make for this watch despite being quite big um, it makes it very very comfortable of course we have the side crown there with the famous von buren let me just get the glove there there we go the von buren logo there the polishing is immaculately done beautiful beautiful i mean this is what squilet is so famous for is their cases it's probably their biggest strength they they they've made cases for blanc pain for doxa for hewer for countless well-respected brands so when it comes to cases they know exactly what they're doing and as you can see look at the polishing it's it's beautifully done and then we have matted on the top and and the high polish on the sides so just a very simple uh you know they haven't strayed too far from this kind of from this kind of look on the dial let's have a look at the dial so we have a a, a matted black uh, dial with 
much larger indices than on the other. We just look again compared to the um, the heritage there. Much larger indices. Really nice, fantastic C1 superluminova. So this is the latest uh, of the luminova uh, on the on the uh, applied indices, which have really done well. Uh, apologize about the dust. We have the the red for the GMT hand with a really nice, clear, easy to read triangle. These Mercedes hands obviously reminds me very much of the indices on my Submariner, so it's it's very at a glance you can easily read it. Uh, we have a little, just a tiny little uh, minutes and seconds track. Uh, running around the outside and then uh, if you can just see that the inner chaptering is a kind of matted uh, satinized finish um, so it does catch the light a little bit but not as flashy as let's say the the case on the polished 1521 the case itself is made from a 116L stainless steel as is the bracelet we have quite a large Crown, screw down crown at the side here it is quite big and I, at first I thought well, maybe it's a little bit oversized but I tell you what in operation uh, it's silky smooth it's beautifully done I mean when you unscrew it it pops out boom it pops out very the, the action to it if, if we just hit, listen to it winding probably can't even hear that but it is beautiful we have a quick set date it's hackable uh, and I think for a GMT, you're probably going to be changing the time more often than, than let's say you would on the standard version. So I think it is important to have a comfortable, solid crown. And this definitely is. It's quite a bit bigger than the than on the previous models. And if you're you changing the, the GMT hand, uh, you know, this is a this really is a traveler's companion, you know. So if you're, you're changing the time, it's very easy to do and very comfortable to do. And the action on it, just screwing it in again now, is <laughs> very impressive. I mean, it, this really is uh, out of all the Squalier watches I've 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 had and tried and experienced. This crown is really top notch. So quite not the most pronounced crown guards here. But, you know, they do a good job of, of, of shielding this quite large crown here. So, uh, I'm really impressed with this. I'm, I'm really impressed with the action of it. it. It reeks of quality. I mean, even even more so than I think the, the, the standard 1545. Just removing the, the NATO strap for the moment so you can see the back. We have this kind of hexagonal uh, screw-down case back. Um, really nicely done and then a little space it's actually got plastic on the back so I haven't even removed I should remove the plastic but anyway a nice little area I, I was thinking you know I wouldn't mind having my TGV initials etched you know it leaves a mark to uh, some space for etching so you can personalize this I, I think it would be a nice thing to do uh, if for, you know if you were giving it away for a present for a loved one or something it would be nice to kind of sign something there just a, just a random thought but anyway so sapphire crystal water resistant 30 atm swiss made and then the squally logo so the lug width is 21 millimeters which is a little bit unusual i would have preferred 20 because then you know it goes with all my uh, straps and, and and whatnot but but actually if you look uh, this is a 20 millimeter wide nato strap there's only a tiny minuscule amount of you can hardly tell. I personally, I prefer a 20 millimeter bracelet. I just think they wear a little better, not so heavy. Because one thing I have noticed immediately about this watch, especially with the bracelet, it's very heavy. It's an extremely solid piece. Flat sapphire crystal, obviously. With this GMT, just like the Rolex GMT or, or many GMTs with this similar setup, you can keep track of up to three time zones using the bezel and the GMT hand, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, as you guys know, I've been looking for, for a GMT to add to my collection for a long, long time. And I would definitely consider this. But 
you know, there are a few drawbacks. There are, there are a ton of positives about this watch. There are also some drawbacks. So let's get into that now. The bracelet, as I mentioned, it's 20, 21 millimeters wide. It does have solid end links, of course. And what's nice is with these uh, bracelets on the Squire, they have a screw down pins. And I've got to say, somebody asked me uh, when I was doing the unboxing for the, this one, uh, well, when I was doing the unboxing for all of them, how easy was it to change uh, to fit to my to my wrist? And I've got to say, I'm honestly, it's one of the best bracelets to to change. It was just so easy to do. The screws very easy to access. Let me just show you again. When you unscrew them, they're just very easy to take out. Um, and I won't show you on this one because the plastic's still on. But mate, I'll show you on my. Um, my heritage. The clasp, is, this is exactly the same as the, uh, as on, this, this, the, the bracelets are exactly the same. So on the, bra on the clasp we have a signed clasp, fold over safety clasp there, and if we look on the inside, there is a diving extension as you see here, sorry, I didn't, let, me, let me do that, and you can do micro adjustments on the clasp. The bracelet is extremely well made, very solid, lovely polishing on the sides and then a matted uh, all the way around, just like on a Submariner. The, the build quality on, on the actual clasp is very solid and it feels robust and it does feel like quality. My only criticism I think is that these kind of, you know, clasps that are held, that, are, that use resistance to hold it in place are a little dated. Uh, but again, at this price point, you can't really expect, you know, the moon and the stars. You know, you, you, there has to be a little bit of leeway. It's, it, you know, you're already getting a lot of watch for your money. Dive extension is extremely easy to uh, use and uh, clicks back. The action on it is absolutely fantastic. Micro adjustment, again, very easy to do. And I, f I found sizing this for my wrist extremely easy I, I, I didn't have to use any equipment I just used one little screw that I have uh, and I'll, I'll do a video on, on, on adjusting bracelets very very soon I'm, I'm currently waiting for some new equipment to review so I will be doing that very soon anyway back to the um, the actual watch itself as I said the 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 main downfall for me was the weight it is a big piece if you're looking for a piece that is a little bit bigger you want a GMT, you want, a, you want something that, that you can actually, you know, go diving with, then this is, this is absolutely going to be perfect for you. For me, it is a little bit on the big side. 42 is stretching it for me, but the 1521 is also 42 and that seems to wear perfectly. So you really have to kind of try it on to, 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 to get an idea of it yourself. For me, I found the weight a little bit too heavy, so that's why I put Put it on a NATO, and I, f and I find it much more comfortable. The curved lugs do help it fit on, you know, smaller wrists like mine. Uh, so that's definitely a bonus. So let's talk about accuracy and performance. It is performing remarkably well. I find very little variation between. I mean, these are essentially the same movements. Uh, obviously, this is the added. GMT complication, but essentially all the ETA 2893-2s that I have experienced from Squale have always performed impeccably well. It's not COSC certified by any means, but you know we're close. It's close, and for you know for seven for seven hundred dollars, you really be hard pressed to find an ETA of of that quality in in a better watch the 2893-2 this is the premium highest grade version of that movement and you know you'll see them in, in watches cost five four five times as much as this uh, with the same movement so that really just goes to to show you uh, what fantastic value Squ Squilet are offering here so let's talk about my favorite feature as well the bezel is impeccably done they've done a fantastic job for the first ceramic bezel from Squilet it is, it's up there in quality. It uh, really is a massive step forward compared to the old aluminium inserts. 
what I also like about it, it, it doesn't seem to be as flashy as, let's say, Submariner um, Ceramic Bezel. It's a little bit more matted, but I love the way it plays with the light. It really does kind of have a rich texture to it. It's funny, it, it is a, a very kind of retro nostalgic design based, like I said, on the, on the, a watch they did for the, in the 60s, but somehow with the Ceramic Bezel does kind of bring it, you know, up, up to date a bit. Um, so that's really fantastic. So if you if you're looking for a watch that is a little bit bigger, uh, that it has a GMT function, that is that you can take diving, uh, and you don't want to spend that much, uh, I think this is a fantastic way to go. I can't. I, I'm finding it very difficult to think of a watch with this specifications and these features. Uh, for the price they are, they are asking, uh, it's it really is an astonishing achievement, and this is the great thing about Squirely. You know, we've had this discussion about um, homage watches and all the rest of it. And I'm not going to go into it anymore. But this is what is great about Squirely is that they can do a design like this, a very traditional um, design like this that you know you you, you may call a homage. Uh, but they also do their own original designs, which ironically, uh, there are even companies doing homages to Squire watches, which is kind of crazy. But it just shows you what a what a what a fantastic brand they are. You know, the, you, you you if you want a, 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 just a straight Submariner style homage, you can get it. If you want something more individualistic, they have you know they have the. Uh, the 50 uh, Atmos, the, the, the 1521, they have the Master Divers, you know, they have their own legacy and history uh, in, 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 what, in making divers that is very respected. Just look at the craftsmanship, it's absolutely beautifully done, no expense has been spared. Uh, every piece, every part of this works beautifully, the action on the bezel, the silky smooth uh, crown. I gotta say, I love the the ETA 2893. I've had it in many watches, many different watches o over the years. I haven't had this particular version with the GMT, uh, but I have had other versions of it, and I love the way it behaves. You know, the way it, you know it, 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 it charges very easily. Um, the way it the, the date changes at midnight and these little kind of little behavioral these kind of characteristics just just make it um, you know a very favorable reliable uh, movement squarely really hit a home run with this it's it's um, it's just stunning anyway let's have a quick wrist shot so here's the uh, the wrist shot and as you can see, for a big watch, I mean, for a 42 millimeter watch, it fits rather well. It's, it's. I don't feel it's overpowering. I feel it's very comfortable. It's a very masculine design, you know. It's, uh, it's especially on this NATO, on this uh, olive green NATO. I think it really, it really makes it pop even more, you know. It's a watch I'd be proud to wear, absolutely, you know. Um, I'm really impressed with it. And uh, my only criticism, I wish it was just a tiny bit smaller. I would have preferred. Uh, 40 millimeters as you see the lugs are, are really on the edge of the width of my wrist and I have extremely thin wrists um, so technically for me uh, you know it's it really is on the edge of what I would wear had this been 40 millimeters I would have bought it in a heartbeat it would be in my collection and that would be my GMT sorted but if you if you are you know, if you prefer a larger watch, and you can fit, and you can wear a 42 millimeter watch like this without batting an eyelid, then honestly, I would, <laughs> I can't recommend it enough. I think it's extremely elegant. I think it's very masculine. Uh, I, I think its classic design is is always going to be not in demand, but it's always it, classic designs like this don't age. They just they, they just get better with time and in fact actually talking about getting better with time it almost looks a bit too new you know I think this needs a bit of battering about and it, it needs some scratches it, it needs to be worn you know it's it's a watch that demands uh, you know an active lifestyle it demands adventure you know it, uh, that's 
that's the whole of I think that's the whole appeal of of GMT watches. They have this kind of sense of adventure and, and the romanticism that that goes uh, along with you know air travel and exploring and all the rest of it. So it is a really really cool watch, and I and I completely recommend it. In, in a way, I you know what's funny is that at some kind of level on some level I'm I'm almost relieved. That, that it's 42 millimeters because right now I, <laughs> I uh, I'm not in the position. I've just bought a, uh, bought several watches and I'm really not in the position to to buy another one. But yeah, so a slight sigh of re sigh of relief from me. But uh, anyway, some lucky person is, is 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 going to is going to buy this piece. It's absolutely stunning. You know, looking at it to the side and, and just look at everything is crisply done. Everything lines up absolutely perfectly. So, yeah, another pure class offering from Squale. I, I just can't seem to, I mean, apart from the heaviness. I mean, some people really like heavy, heavy, solid pieces. I mean, this is really a solid piece. Uh, it's funny, I, I, I had the, um, the Steinhardt Ocean 1. Uh, vintage uh, from Steinhardt and it was just so flat it was didn't curve down at all like this it was the same size maybe a little bit thinner it didn't have a rotating bezel it was, it was based on the very classic uh, Rolex but it didn't have the sole and didn't feel as solid as this uh, it, it's just so funny I, I, it, you know guys if you're if you're considering either Steinhardt or Squ Squilet go with the Squilet it's very tastefully done this piece even on the smaller wrist you can still get away with it which I think is great uh, it's a very versatile piece I mean imagine this on a, on a, on a, a carbon fiber strap or, or or something sporty like that you know that you can have a lot of fun with this piece a lot of fun this really is a great way to go I absolutely love the the numerals the numbers and, and everything is just done impeccably impeccably well so and of course, right down at the bottom, you've got Swiss made, GMT in red, 30 ATM, Squalit, the Von Buren logo. And that's it. Just, they, you know, very simple, very, kept it very clean. Just no, no nonsense, straight down to business. There's, there's absolutely no pretentiousness. There's, sticking to classic designs like this just, just means that it will age really, really well. A, a watch of this quality, you could, you could hand down to the next generation proudly. Really fantastic offering. So my, my absolute full approval behind this watch. Um, you really have to feel it and see it in person to believe it, um, to, to, to really grasp and and comprehend the the high quality the only problem will be the availability because i i doubt there's that many out, out there so you know guys if you're on the fence go for it because there's not that many out there there's a limited amount and uh, the price is the price really not that much money in the whole scheme of things i know for some people it is but it's worth every single penny okay guys i'm gonna leave it there so thank you very very much for watching Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you already haven't. Uh, so stay tuned, a lot more Squale reviews as well as uh, other brands of course uh, coming soon. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay guys, ciao.